Hey everyone! Welcome back to Beneath a Steel Sky. And now Tabitha is thoroughly asleep, so you won't be hearing her screaming in this episode. She does that every now and then. She just likes to yell at the basement ceiling. Mostly because she's frustrated that she can't get in the basement ceiling. But the last time she was in there, she got lost, so... <laughs> so I just let her yell at the ceiling. As you do. So I think I'm gonna try and enter into Link's space with Anita's card. And see what happens. I think my phone just went off. Whatever, we're ignoring that. Okay. So you swipe with the link card in the slot. All right, let's go in. Wee. All right, I'm back. Playback in blind. Oh, I can blind the security programs. Okay, sweet. Hi. You are a ball now. Okay, and now we get... Nope, not that one. Toodles! Boink! And now I can go in here! Oh, jeez, that's fast! Harumph. Okay. Round two. Don't underestimate the eyeball. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. That one has been blinded permanently, but the other one, it wears off really- I guess it really just does not want you to go- It really just does not want you going in there. Alright, blind you. Oh, fuck. I thought I could be fast. Alright, third time's the charm. By now, Link probably is like, somebody's on to something. Whatever. Alright. Oh, now it's worn off. It's interesting that there's a playback program now. Okay. Go, 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 go! Alright. Oh! Hello! Is it gonna. When does it. Link Environment Manager Crusader. Trying to try out Union Labs. Crusader will guard the system religiously against all known. Uh, e DOS configurations. Okay, so I can't go in there now. Whatever. Ooh. What's this? Personal data space for the use of Link engineers use playback to access holographic files. Okay. If that team will, we can care for you. It's Anita! You're the only one who can help. I was supposed to make contact with an agent from Hobart. Oh shit! The trouble is, the rendezvous was in a park on ground level. And now I'm a demon, I can't get there. The agent's name is Eduardo. Hey, that's the gardener! I don't know how he really is. isn't a gardener. But beneath the city there are tunnels. The remains of the old subway. Huh. it one more time. Oh, I can't reach it now. Ow! Oh, you have to be really fast about that. Sheesh. Okay. One link card. Let's do this one more time. Get that tuning fork. I 
this. I have to go as fast as I can. Okay, one more time. Go, 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 go. Oh! <laughs> ah, jump the gun. Okay. Let's hope I don't run out of time. Go, 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 go! Ah, man, that is always just too close for comfort for me. Okay, ignore the well, go through the exit. Ah, damn it, it wore off! Does this music remind anybody of RuneScape? Because it feels like RuneScape. <laughs> you didn't see nothing. <laughs> okay. Okay. You. Go to sleep. You. Lights out. And through the door. Through the door. I think we got it. I think we got him. Come on, Rob. You walk a little faster. Ah, ha, ha, ha. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. Ha, 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 ha. What is this oscillator? What does it do? Info on the oscillator. Da, 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 da. Range of modulation increased to increase due to class 4 variants in link defense. Is it something I can use to get past the Crusader? I wonder. I'm gonna try it. No, I can't. I can't use it on the Crusader. Okay. Okay. Well, we have that now. So I guess the next time we go into Link Space, we can go elsewhere. So now I have a meeting with Eduardo. Oh, it wants me to save. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Do, 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 save game. I got me a tune. Work. Okay. Oh, that's right, you have to go through the elevator. Uh, da, 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 da. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Nothing to see here. Good day, goodbye. Okay, down to ground level. It's interesting that Anita was working with Hobart. Supposedly, they're a rival city slash corporation, but what do they want? Aside from, I don't know, political, economic gain? Something tells me Anita is not down with that. Are they actually, like, trying to overthrow the system? Hmm. Let's get some info from Eduardo. Oh, now the chapel's just always unguarded. Okay.
Hey, Excuse dude. Excuse me. I know you. I, I know your cover. <laughs> do you know a girl called Anita? Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Why do you want to know? She's been murdered. I found her body in the cathedral. Yep. Can't see why you're telling me. Because I know. Excuse me. I've got something for you. Can't stop. Too busy. Excuse me. What's your name? It's Eduardo. Why? Ah, that's You're what we Anita's needed to contact, do. Right? There we go. Come, you know so much. She left a message on her card. Listen, do you know what's happened to Link? Something I'm fucked totally up, apparently. Confused. Link is a living, self-replicating organism. I thought it was just Originally, an AI. It served as an advisor to the council, but it has gradually taken control. Uh huh. Now, we know why? that much. We're really not sure. Hobart scientists have developed a virus. It will check Link's growth mm. if we can get it into the system. Will you mm -hmm. give me the virus? I can't. It's been downloaded to Link Space. Of course. Anita was supposed to retrieve it. But... Since she had a Shreedman port. So have I. I owe it to Anita to get that virus. No chance. It's bound to be guarded. It must be what's I behind the sentry. So, tell me more about Excuse how the me. hell I can get that virus. I'd like to know... Yeah, go back to your idle animation seconds before I talk to you. Come on. No. Oh, See you later. Nothing else. Hmm. Okay. Hey, this is open now. Let's go in. Silence in court. Oh shit. Security Services Department of Justice Inc. Judge Chutney presiding. <laughs> court is now in. Oh, this ought to be entertaining. Silence. Order in the I court! I recognize that villain. <laughs> An habitual criminal, if ever I saw one. Ah, uh, that's Mr. Greaves, my lord. The counsel for the prosecution. <laughs> Silence when you speak to me. Mr. Now, Judge needs a polish on his glasses. The first contestant. Defendant, my lord. <laughs> the case of Union Security Services versus. Howard Hobbins. Oh, it's Howard Hobbins. Hobbins! Why is Hobbins on tr- Oh, is this because of us? Nice to see you, Howard. You're not nervous, are you? Not really. The defendant is accused of gross contempt and assault of a security officer. Oh. He must have found what have Frank's you got body. To say for yourself, eh? I've been framed, Your Honor. May I elucidate, my lord? Go so on good. then, but hurry up about it. Officer Blunt was investigating a complaint made against Hobbins. After questioning the defendant, he was the victim of an assault. Huh. Ah, monstrous, off with his head. This isn't about Who's Rake at all. Minute? Who's defending me? Defense? Is he entitled to any? <laughs> In this dystopia? I don't know. Upon my soul, whatever next? Actual democracy? Oh, the horror. Uh-oh. <laughs> and Robert's just like, eh, might as well. Fingers on the buzzers, everyone. I wish to call Officer Blunt. Call Officer Blunt! Please tell the court what happened. Oh, I was assaulted. And is the culprit present in the court? Ah, oh, that's him in the overalls. 
the overalls. <laughs> you have no evidence except hearsay. Uh, we haven't heard the defense, my lord. Uh, is it really necessary? Oh, go on. Just don't take all day. <laughs> now then, now officer. Then, officer Blunt. Let's Phoenix Wright our way out of this. <laughs> what was the nature of your injuries? A I scratch on the cheek. <laughs> but you didn't suffer any physical from blood. a razor blade. <laughs> I could have caught a nasty cold. And does Hobbins control the weather? Tell the court how you got wet. <clears throat> While patrolling on Bellevue, I was saturated by a sudden shower. Did you ascertain its source? Oh, yeah. I heard laughter from the walkway hubbub. So, you saw the accused pour the liquid? I couldn't see anything. My eyes were full of water. Then how do you know well, it was Hobbins, you his dick? Anywhere. Just how well do you know Hobbins? I've never met him before. And yet you say you recognized his laughter. <laughs> Ooh, got him! I don't know. Who lodged the complaint against Hobbins? Objection, my lord. Defense is contriving to lead the witness. How? It was a simple question. I wish to establish the seriousness of the complaint made against my client. Yeah, tell him, Robert. I shall permit the witness to answer. However, I'm awarding Mr. Greaves five points for a well-timed interruption. What? So who did lodge the complaint? It was Daniel Pierbolt. Wait, what does she have to do with this? What was Mrs. Piermont's grievance? Cruelty to her pet dog. I interviewed Hobbins on four occasions. But he still hasn't confessed. Oh. That was me. Four interrogations suggest harassment. Objection, my lord. Officer Blunt is not the subject of this trial. Quite correct. Objection sustained. <laughs> Ten points to the prosecution. What do you mean, points? This isn't a game show. No further questions, Your Honor. I wish to call Mrs. Piermont. Call Mrs. Piermont. Hello, darling. <laughs> Hello, Robbie. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Order in the court. <laughs> Had you met Hobbins before this incident? I don't recall ever seeing him. But one takes little notice of mere maintenance. <laughs> what was your complaint against Hobbins? He was abused, my little poochy brood. How would he have been able to do that when he I works up on the factory case. level and doesn't have accidents access to Daniel this level? Mangle scandals. I don't want to know. Did you witness the alleged attack? Not exactly. Then how did you know about it? Did the dog tell you? Officer Blunt reported the incident to me. How would you describe your pet dog? Objection, Your <laughs> Honor. This is a trial, not a dog show. Objection overruled, Mr. Greaves. Ooh. I want to get to the bottom of this doggy business. <laughs> He's an absolute darling, darling. darling. <laughs> Every one adores him. Yeah, he's a cute little potato. No further questions, Your Honor. I'd like to question the defendant. 
Did you assault Officer Blunt? Objection, my lord. Again. Why, man, what's wrong? Um, repetition, my lord. Oh, shut up. Objection overruled. Yeah, tell him. Are you guilty of assault, Howard? Not me. I was fixing one of the cooling pipes, and it burst. So blunt soaking was an accident? Precisely. Not exactly. Not exactly. Why did the pipe burst? Some joker had cut a power cable. <laughs> and overloaded the steam release in the power station. <laughs> That's what damaged the cooling pipe. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> so you do, Robert. So you do. <laughs> did you laugh at Blunt's predicament? Laugh? <laughs> I'd nearly wet me pants. So, yes. No further questions, Your Honor. So he's not technically Mr. guilty. Believes. You may start the bonus round. The what? The facts speak for themselves, my lord. Hobbins is a cruel and callous man with no respect for law and order. <laughs> I recommend the maximum possible sentence. Which Any is? Comments from the defense? I don't Many. believe this is happening. <laughs> you and it's me a both, man. Madness. You've all been warped in some way. And Tell I think him. Link is the cause. Call out the kangaroo Silence. court. I've heard quite enough of this nonsense. So it's time for me to make my judgment. And the scores Howard are... Robbins, you've won tonight's star prize. <laughs> what? No. There's actually... <laughs> imprisonment. <laughs> I wouldn't call However, that a star prize. In view of your service to the city, I'm going to reduce your sentence to two hours community <laughs> service. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's not so bad. Court dismissed. Still, though, not exactly a fair accusation. <laughs> that was the weirdest goddamn thing. <laughs> Okay, um, let's see what's- Oh! Wait, what if the, the entrance to the old subway is in, like, that- Behind the bricked up wall in the, um, in the gardening shed? That or there's some way to get in there from the wine cellar. But these- this chuckle fuck's still playing cards, so I can't get in there. Fine. Okay. Let's see if I can find anything else in the shed. Hmm. There's a machine. It says museum stair. Almost. Maybe... Oh, yeah, so this is a subway map. That's down to the subway, and maybe this, like, was a- there was a museum on this level before it became the ritzy schmitzy residence level? The mechanism has rusted solid. Hmm. I haven't found a use for those, aside from cutting the- no, I haven't found a use for these, period. Is there really nothing I can do with the brickwork? No. Why did I waste my time doing that? Being in this city must be cracking me up. Oh, come on. I know. I know the subway's behind all this. It's gotta be. Why did yeah, 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 shut up. Can I... I know I... I thought I know? Hmm. There's gotta be some way to demolish it. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe if I tell the gardener about it, he'll figure out a way to deal with it? Hmm. Excuse me. 
Come on, finish your idle animation. Eh, uh, nope. I can't talk later. to him about anything. Huh. Is there something in the cathedral I can do? And what the hell is up with the androids in there? The dummies. What is with that? It makes no sense. in here again. Is this where... Oh, yeah, that's right. This is the ventilation shaft. Hmm. If I have my grappling hook still, I might be able to do something, but... Can I use this to bypass... Can I take it? I don't think a severed head would be any- Nope. Nothing. This is locked, isn't it? Wouldn't you know it. It's locked. Yeah. And I already tried to pry it open, so there's gonna be no dice with that. Ay, ay. Is there anything I can do down here? The wheels are locked in place. Hmm. No? Hmm. No, I guess there's nothing else I can do in here. So... No, nothing I can do about that. That's too big and heavy to carry. Okay. Um. You sure there isn't some way, something I can do in St. James? There's gotta be something. Oh, hey, the band's not here anymore. Maybe now I can use the jukebox? The green select button is lit. Yeah, I can play the jukebox. All right. Hey, um. music lover. <laughs> if you're looking for the best in sound, I got them. I wonder what kind of the sounds they have on the jukebox. Right here on Earth. What so tunes on, you got, man? Put your fingers on my buttons. Uh, okay. Let's make beautiful music together. How offensive. Why they put voices in these machines is beyond me. I'm all warmed up for you, baby. Why is Shut the jukebox horny? The <laughs> Why is the oh, jukebox Lord, horny? It's mostly country and western. Nah. Nobody's perfect. Is it Johnny Cash? Ah, there are three tunes by the resident band. Okay. So, what's your choice, big boy? You search, but find nothing. As cool as you and Long Beach. This sounds good. You search, but find nothing. Groovy. Not bad. Is the band's gone? Is there anything else that's changed? Can I finally get a fucking drink? <laughs> what does it take to get a drink in this joint, huh? Excuse me. Oh, he does not like the tune. Never mind. Oh no, it got stuck. Whoops. And now, a pawn is glass. Do do do. Hmm. So, I've got the glass. Now, can I? Do this.
Does does that work? Is that gonna no? I can tell it it has his fingerprints on it. What the hell do I have to do then? Do I like wipe them onto my palms or something? No? Ugh. Do I give it to the bartender? Is this, does this work? Excuse me. Would you like this present? No chance. Ugh. Never mind. And I'm so close. I know it. I think I'm going to take a break for now and try and I'll figure this out later. See you all next time.